Tiger One welcomes Malaysia to Europe. The sound of pink and yellow samurai figures out of the boxing. Boxes, sorry, boxing. Um, I'm actually redoing this review because my friend pointed out that the uh, noise was very muffled. I don't know how I didn't even notice that, so I'm just redoing this again. Um, as you can see, these are the samurai rangers from the regular line. Um, in the detail in is exquisite, where it's to the point. They only missed like a minor detailing, which is the skirts, uh, overall shape, which isn't supposed to be pointed or a V-shape. In the show, it's just like a regular skirt. It's like flat, like a flat or curved bottom. Um, and also the sides are supposed to be have black signs, so they didn't color that in. However, they did actually mold it in. So if you're good at customizing, you can like um, do that. Like let me like show you a close up. I don't think you guys will be able to see it. Camera is not being too friendly. It comes to zooming. No, I don't think you guys would be able to see it. There's like very like face the molding. So, but let me show you the uh, samurai first. As you can see, they have the they have the black lines along with the white outer lines on the chest, and then we have the samurai emblem and their visors and their helmet is dead on. And the back is also pink. The back, the belt, and the chest, the neck as well. Usually don't have that the collar and the belt being. Uh, colored in. The only downside is they have these production numbers on the back right here, but it's not a big deal. As for articulation, it's the same as standard samurai figure. Only difference is that they have limited mobility on their legs because of the skirt uh, kind of restricting it. The leg would can't really go back and forth much and it can only stretch that far, as far as um, the legs going on the side. And, but however, there is mobility on, um, not mobility, sorry, there's articulation on the knee joint here. And the boot, as well, you can kind of like, kind of move it uh, around like so. As for the hands, same deal, you can look at the ball joint here. Oops, sorry about that. And you can move the hand up and down, and the glove also has like uh, you can turn it around. And also the head right here moves back and forth. Three samurai figures. Let me just move them back to you so you can see them properly. The samurai figures came with these uh, samurai swords. The same ones the regular. Samurai guys came with, and they came with these weapons, which appear to be super, super versions of their standard weapons: the heaven fan and uh, the land slicer. This looks like a bat wing, if anything, and this one here looks like a boomerang. I never cared for these that much, but they never appeared in the TV show. Let me show you them holding it. This yellow holding the her super weapon. I think it's a weapon has a bit of weight, so you kind of have to play around with the figure to stand up properly. And pink's weapon, I'll show you her holding that. I never actually put these weapons on them before, except for these review, except for the review. Because, um, like I said, since they didn't appear on the TV show, I didn't care to really display them with those weapons. Yeah, like they have a hard time standing and sticking them out there. Okay, there you go. And here's yellow with her weapon. Yeah, as you can tell, they're not really good at standing. Either one stands and the other one falls. You can have both. Well, you 
guys get the idea, like, for me to tell you guys get the idea what it looks like, so there you go. Um, the Samurai figures also came with, um, two attachments on the belt. One of them is the Samuraiser in its little pouch. The other one is a little holster for the Samurai sword. It can attach like so. The only difference is from the guys is that they didn't come with their own little samuraiser. That was samurai morpher. And the guys did. So that's what it would look like in the holster. And I'll show you them holding their own samurai sword with yellow weapons. Here's yellow holding the samurai sword. They look their best when they're displayed in these regular weapons. As you can, if you guys don't already know, these regular weapons come with the Mega Mode Samurai Girls, just like it did for the guys. I thought it was a really low marketing gimmick where you had to purchase the other figures to get these weapons. But I guess in a business point of view, they see it working and getting more money. So let me just uh, display them with these weapons and show you guys. Sorry about that, I put it in the big six balls there. Oh, sorry, I'm again, it's been the problem where one can, the other one does There we go, sorry about that. Pink and yellow holding their weapons. The Heaven Fan and the Lance Lightning. So, that's what they look like, and let me show you the Mega Mode Girls. The super, fight, the super weapons, they go perfect with the Mega Mode Girls. So they anyways have a look of armor. And, um, you'll probably just, um, just make it, like in the TV show, if they had their own, like, weapons, I could imagine that they would look like this. Sorry, let me just put it down. The thing about these weapons are the super weapons are a bit too big, funky that it's hard to kind of fit it in the camera at times. So let me try to get all of them in one shot. Yeah, there you go. Here's all of them in one shot. And there you have it, the Samurai Girls and the Samurai... Well, there's all the Samurai Girls in their super and regular form. Well, basically, there you have it, that's my review. And coming up next, I'll review all the Samurai Rangers together. Well, you see the guys and you see the in-depth reviews. I'll just show you like a team post and whatnot. And then coming up next will be Rita Luz. And I guess that will be it until next time. So, as far as purchasing goes, they're really, they've been released right now. Canada has them in Walmart for like $7. Or in the U.S., they have it in every toy department, toy store, toy store, as Walmart, whatnot. They've been out for a while, so if you can't find them, just check all the different chains. And, uh, yeah, so do not buy online. Have patience, find them if you can find them in the uh, shows. Not the show, sorry. Uh, the stores, and because the worst feeling is buying it online. 
and then finding it in, in, in the stores, and then being like, oh crap, I wish I uh, waited, because uh, now it's in the store, and you can buy it for cheaper. Well, that's basically it. Any questions or concerns, you can have safe to ask. And, um, yeah, that's basically my review. And have a great day. Um, yeah, so, apparently I'm having trouble finding my mouse, so sorry about that small little lag over there.